Hi, welcome to SBR Sports Fix. My name is Peter Loshak. Today is Thursday, January 4th. We are talking right now with Joe Gavassi from JoeGavassiSports.com. And of course, in college football, this Monday is the uh, championship game, Alabama and Georgia. We're going to get Joe Gavassi's take on this game and the uh, betting odds right now. Joe Gavassi, uh, as soon as uh, as soon as this game came out, as soon as these lines came out on Monday, uh, we did a, a roundtable preview of this game with our panel of uh, of guest handicappers who all have been handicapping uh, the entire bowl season so far. And uh, all three of the guests in the show uh, took the under at 45 and a half. Of course, the line opened at 47. It's now gotten bet down to a 45 market wide. Some places hanging 44 and a half. Some places still have 45. 45 and a half, but they all liked uh, the under at 45 and a half, which is still available. I'm the only one who gave a play on the side, and I did give Georgia at plus four and a half, uh, which was the line on Monday. Now that line has clearly gotten bet down. Some places still hanging four, but most places hanging three and a half. So as of right now, the market has made a, uh, a modest but clear move in favor of Georgia, and I'm happy to uh, report that I was able to beat that line movement. I gave Georgia as my pick at plus four and a half. Obviously, Alabama, a great team. Big win over uh, Clemson in the semifinals, and Georgia struggled a bit to get by uh, Oklahoma, but my sense is that sets up nicely for at least a cover uh, by Georgia getting more than a field goal. I could be dead wrong on this one, but that was my pick. The three guests in the show all liked uh, the under at 45 and a half. Now we're going to find out what Joe Gavazzi likes. Joe Gavazzi, what do you like here? I do agree on the under selection that the guests mm-hmm. made in this program, but I also would like to compliment you on making a savvy move to take that four and a half points. Oh, thank you so much, Joe Gavazzi. You're very welcome. And with that line coming down, you will certainly set yourself up if you wish to buy any or all of that back at some point in time. I, however, am favoring Alabama in this game. Wow, okay. Last week, we talked about Alabama changing roles from the hunter to the hunted. And boy, did that ever pan out. Alabama came out as a clearly more focused team, made a big revenge win over Clemson, allowing that team just seven points and 188 yards. This year, I find, this week, I find valuable reasons for backing Alabama as well. Going back to that Georgia game from last week, I openly stated in my analysis that Georgia would have a tough time should they fall behind by two or more scores. I felt pretty good with my selection on Oklahoma when the Sooners led by 17 points in the second half. Surely, first-year head coach Lincoln Riley would stack the box against the Georgia running game and force Frosch quarterback Fromm to beat him in the air. No such effect was to happen, as Riley allowed the Sooners, with Chubb and Michael, to motor for almost 350 yards overland, come back from 17 down for the over over overtime win. I do believe that Georgia expended a lot of energy though, both mentally, psychologically, emotionally, as well as physically in that game, and it may leave them a bit drained for this championship game. Certainly from a fundamental perspective, head coach Saban will in no way be interested in allowing Georgia to run wild against a defensive front that is number one against the run of the nation, and who has the number one overall defense as well. And of course, I can only reiterate the stats that have been echoed all over the broadcast waves this week, that Alabama head coach Saban, now 12-11-0, and and straight up against his former assistants, 9-2 and against the spread, by an average winning margin of 39-10. to Former D.C. Kirby Smart, now the head coach of Georgia, falls right into that pattern. I'm going to take Alabama to shut down the Georgia running game, make the freshman quarterback from beat us from behind. And if he does, so be it. We'll take Alabama minus the points. Mm. I'm happy to hear an interesting analysis from you, Joe Gavazzi. Not happy to hear that that analysis likes the opposite side of what I initially liked. As you said, though, I could buy back and take uh, Alabama at minus three and a half. Great breakdown. Uh, great call on Alabama last week. I actually uh, faded Alabama last week, and I was wrong on that one. We'll see where this line closes. Joe Gavazzi right now recommending a play on Alabama minus three and a half and also agreeing with the three guests uh, in the roundtable show on the under at 45 and a half. Awesome breakdown. Joe Gavazzi, Alabama minus three and a half is your play on the championship game. Tell us what you do at your website, JoeGavassiSports.com, for anyone who is uh, watching you for the first time here.
It is Joe Gavazzi from JoeGavazziSports.com. We have latest articles which are a must for you to read. My point spread prognosis newsletter is exciting and up there each and every week, as well as my money management theory. But most of all, you got to check out every day about what's in the news and find out the hot streaks that are currently in effect with my late phone service selections, which have netted my dime players over $100,000 the last seven weeks. Make yourself one of those people who profit by going to jogavazisports.com. Thank you, Peter, and the SBR video team. Thank you very much, Joe Gavazzi. Great, uh, great doing all these videos with you all college football season long. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to our channel. Now we've put a lot of work into producing all these free videos, so please help us out and keep all our content free for you forever by simply liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. Now not to mention a visit to our industry leading website will warm the hearts of all our SBR employees, especially myself. Now the links are over there to the left, uh, so do check those out. Thanks for watching.